Hello, Abdurrahman. Can you please uh, tell us uh, about the ongoing search operation uh, being conducted uh, right now in El Jabriya area by the Kuwait Fire Force, and how are they doing so far? Good evening, Kuwait, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. A chaotic scene uh, earlier just happened to a six-story building which collapsed when it was going through a planned demolition. It was going through a planned and natural demolition and it turned into a chaotic scene. It crushed down all of a sudden and it was uh, it turned into uh, to, to a whole rubble. The citizens outside were, or residents outside were devastated to witness such events of the houses or flats being uh, devastated. And as soon as authorities heard of the building coming or crushing down, they've been alerted and came and the fire force, the Kuwait fire force actually was at the forefront. And as you see, as you can see right behind me, right behind me right now, they have their dog sniffers who are we're trying to find someone who's suspected to be under the rubble and they have their equipment put under the building as well and they're checking and digging inside under the building actually they're trying to find that suspected person who's believed to be under the rubble yes uh, uh, you know we were all uh, shocked and stunned by the news uh, you know for the class building but uh, could you tell us uh, if there are any reported casualties so far at the site and uh, if there are any clues or any initial ideas of uh, what might have caused this collapse of the building. Definitely, uh, Ahmed, uh, this was a shocking event. You know, witnessing a natural demolition taking place, all of a sudden turning into a chaotic scene out of nowhere, and witnessing a whole building crushing down here in Al Jabriya. That is unnatural. I mean, can you believe that? It's unnatural in Kuwait for that to happen. And questions are rising right now. And uh, also, there is one point to mention. Actually, the contractor of the building who was uh, who was going with the process of the demolition the planned demolition was not existent after the demolition happened after the uh, after the planned demolition the disaster happened he was not existent so authorities are t taking this more serious and investigations are being taken more seriously because the contractor was not present at the time and all the equipment of the planned demolition has been confis confiscated for, con confiscated actually for further further uh, investigations purposes and as of now we don't have any number of casualties reported no casualties uh, thank god but still i mean there is a suspected person to be under the rubble as you can see behind me right now the fire force are doing their best and their effort to uh, to to try and, and and aid and assist to to get that uh, suspected person uh, safely but it's only a suspect so we don't know we don't have any latest updates if he's uh, if he's down there or not so i will keep you updated uh, as 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 i keep monitoring the situation right here in, in Al Jabriya. Okay. Uh, Abdurrahman, have you learned from the Fire Force Department uh, if there is any clues of what, what might have uh, caused this collapse to happen? Actually, yes, I have been asking around. Uh, as you can see, there is high officials as well right here from the Kuwait municipality and the Kuwait Fire Force and the Ministry of Interior as well. They're all present uh, right here. Some of them are organizing the crowds and others are doing their jobs. And I've been asking around about the possible reasons that such unnatural uh, disaster that could, could happen, especially in, in, in Kuwait. You know, it's, it's something unnatural, especially that there was a planned demolition. So what could have caused this? I mean, all I are, are going through to, to the contractor because he wasn't present when the collapse of the building happened so they're having they're, they're getting further investigation it's, it's getting more serious towards the contractor may there may have been uh, faults uh, because of the contractor there may have been uh, any technical errors uh, that have happened during the planned demolition nobody knows because the contractor is not present not during the planned demolition and once the collapse happened once the collapse happened, he literally left away, just left away like that. So that's why the, all the authorities are taking this even further seriously right now.
Now, did this collapse, uh, Abdurrahman, uh, cause any damage to nearby buildings, adjacent buildings around it? And uh, if so, can you describe the, of, uh, the magnitude of the damage uh, happened around the site? Actually, uh, Ahmed, I was actually speaking to some residents. They were telling me that they were nearby the building. Just before they entered, they saw the building crushing down. It was devastating to them to witness that. But thank God they weren't in the building. So there wasn't uh, collateral damage to, to, to residents. But there have been some collateral, collateral damage to cars, as you can see. I'm not sure if you can guys see the car, the white car right behind me right here. It was damaged by the collapse of the building. And there might have there may have been as well some other damages damages that have happened and uh, of course now uh, I mean the car owners or maybe anything that has been damaged they, they, these people I mean they, they need to take legal actions against who have caused this and they need some you know further compensations who's gonna compensate these people it's, it's not it's not it's not that they're what what do they do with their cars now damaged after the collapse of the building so they're trying to do their best to, to find who's behind all that collapse, the unnatural disaster that have happened. Yes, uh, thank you, Abdurrahman. Uh, thank you for all your efforts uh, for covering uh, this uh, incident for us. That was uh, Abdurrahman Lemhanna, our correspondent in the Jabriya area, who's covering uh, this uh, shocking news of a collapse of a building in the area. And we pray to God that uh, no one will get hurt uh, from that incident.